from Tokyo, Japan. Konnichiwa. <laughs> One month ago, I had an inner experience in which Master told me that my time in this life is about to end. Oh. But during that time, I forgot to recite the holy names to check whether the Master I met is real or not. Mm. I'm now really doubtful and check myself all the time. I feel some hatred. I don't meditate well. Master, can you please clarify if the Master I met was real or false? Not real. <laughs> Even if it's real, so what? I thought you all wanted to be liberated in one lifetime, eh? you know? Quickly go home, no? <laughs> so why you are fearing? Don't worry, okay? Just meditate as usual. Before you meditate, you pray to the real master to help you, okay? And protect you, okay? Right, don't worry. Aligato. <laughs> An initiate from Busan, Korea. Okay, you? Korea? Uh, I just want to look at you only. <laughs> okay, good, good. Come. <laughs> when meditating, yeah. I fell asleep and had a fantastic dream. Yes. I was on a pure lake or ocean. Uh -huh. Suddenly, it changed and became a huge surge, and it came towards you me. You put your earphone on so that you can hear the translation, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why he is afraid to come out. <laughs> it's just a loving kind of talk, okay? It's not a scolding or it's not a insult. Come. I was so scared. Just like your friends, you know, together say, "Hey, dude, <laughs> love you, dude." <laughs> Meaning, idiot, I love you. <laughs> dude is the same as idiot, you know, right? Yeah. Just so, Friend will friendly talk, you know, hey, where are you going, dude? <laughs> okay, come on. But surprisingly, it changed into something like ice or vapor or wind or light. And then a magnificent castle came out in a different dimension. Was this a spiritual experience or just a dream? It is an experience, yes. The dream is some kind of vision also. Mm? It's not always just a dream, yeah? After you meditate, uh, on your bed, uh, you slowly lie down, and then whatever you experience during your so-called sleep is your vision, huh? okay? But sometimes you don't meditate well before you sleep, so you can also have, you know, the lousy dream, or maybe the karma dream, or maybe like a mixed-up dream. Uh -huh. But that is a vision. Okay, because you remember so well, it's very good. Most people don't remember their dream. Hmm? Yeah, very good. From Hong Kong. Hong Kong! Yeah. Ni hao. <laughs> Dear beloved Ultimate Master, we saw on fly-in news that Master announced Maya is gone negative force and karmic force are also gone, mm. but everyone should be responsible for their own actions. Yep. Does this mean the law of cause and effect still functions? And what is the difference between karmic force and the law of cause and effect? Okay, very good question. Anybody know how to answer? Mm, always make me work. You always pretend to be deaf, dumb, <laughs> And uh, uh, stupid. Okay, never mind. The law of cause and effect still exists. It's still effective. Okay? Otherwise, everybody can do anything they want and there will be no punishment. Maya is gone, but not uh, disappear. He is waiting for you in hell to join him. If you don't live your life according to virtuous and, and moral standards, yeah? That could harm others. Then he is waiting for you. But the Maya is not here anymore to tempt you, to make more trouble for you, to make it more difficult for you to decide to do the right thing. So this burden is lifted from your shoulders, from your existence. So from now on, it's easier for you to recognize what's right, what's wrong, and follow your heart. 
follow your conscience. You got that? Yes. But if you do something wrong, then you are the only person responsible. And he will be waiting for you <laughs> happily. <laughs> now come to Papa. <laughs> you understand? Yes. Oh, so it doesn't mean you do anything you want now and no consequence. It's not that. I just lifted out the extra trouble, the extra the troublemaker, the tem tempter, the evil kind of network that's making you more trouble. You understand? Yes. For example, okay, eh, the government forbids drugs, huh? for example. But that doesn't mean the drug doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> you still can try to find it. And if you find it and you take drugs, then you have to have the consequence. Huh? Or alcohol, for example. Hmm? Okay? But there's not so available everywhere for, to tempt you anymore. And there's no drug dealer to come to your children's high school to tempt the, the innocent youngsters. Got that? Ah, so big burden is already lifted up. So now is your own time. <laughs> okay, la? And the same with negative. Yeah. <laughs> the same with negative power. Yeah? The negative so called entity that carry the power with him is gone, okay? But we, before we were born, or since a time in memory, we have this negative uh, trace, you know, embedded in us already. It takes some more generations to maybe clear it all up, okay? So now you have to decide which one is no good. You have guidance, you have the rules, you know, you have the five precepts, you have my teachings and the teachings of ancient masters, which we air every day on TV. That helps you to, you know, to stay uh, focused, or stay on a straight road and not go astray. Got that? Okay. So it doesn't mean, <laughs> doesn't mean that whatever negative thing you think or choose won't have any effect on you or other people. Huh? It will have, okay? So keep pure, focus, straight. Okay, always recite the holy names and the gift. That is the best protection you have, okay? And the meditation so you can go up, okay? And digest the power that you newly acquired through meditation, okay? Protect yourself. Last question is from Singapore. My dog and cat have both been vegan since I adopted them when they were one month old, mm. and they watch Supreme Master television much of the time. Mm. When they pass away, will they go to the new land? Will I see them again in the spiritual world? <laughs> you will see them when you see them, okay? Yeah. <laughs> it depends also on how much merit they have. It's not just uh, eat a vegan and then go to new land. It's not like that. Maybe they still need to reincarnate. And even if you see them in New Land, they're not your little cat anymore. Ah, they'll be big, great, radiant beings. You won't recognize them as cat and dogs anymore. Why you want them to stay in that way? Adopt another dog or cat to love and <laughs> to cuddle, okay? Every being should not eat other beings, and that is correct, okay? But by being vegan alone, it's not meritorious enough to go to a higher heaven or new land. Man, what a prize, huh? It's just an initiation and you want your five, six, nine generations eh, liberated and your cat, your dog, your mouse, your <laughs> uh, whatever. <laughs> I did not promise that. <laughs> I promise if you practice well, maybe your five generations or more will be liberated. I did not say any dogs, cats or worms or whatever in your house, yeah? Vegan or not, huh? <laughs> Many beings are vegan, okay? Even the ants, they eat vegan. They eat grains and just some leaves and stuff, you know that, right? And they will not be liberated because of that. Hmm? Many little beings are also vegans. 
they will not be liberated because of that. And the trees, they're also beings, they don't eat anything even. Huh? They're completely breatharian, <laughs> right? Or waterian, at least waterian. They just uh, draw some uh, water from the ground. They don't eat anything. It doesn't mean they're going to the new land, huh? All the trees around your house, on the plants, on your balcony. I don't ask too much, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Just meditate. And whatever you can offer, then your relatives and friends will benefit, okay? By being your cats or your dogs and being vegan, they are already highly elevated, okay? But to go to the new realm, Timkotu's new realm, that is another story, okay, sweetheart? Mm. That completes the questions, Master. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, good questions, and you behave very well. I'm happy. I'm very happy. This is the way we should organize all the time. Thank you for your help. You happy? Yes, mm. Very good. Master? Yeah? One more? I've, I've just been given one more question. Oh, read, please. I hope I can read it. In July of 2019, our Mongolian members established a cooperative business which is named Vegan World. Uh -huh. Currently, we are pr producing vegan foods, namely steamed dumplings, uh, bakery, vegan wine, which is non-alcoholic uh, and made of wild berries from nature. Mm -hmm. Even non-vegan consumers love to drink uh, wine as uh, it has medicinal benefits. We have distributed our products through many supermarkets in Ulaanbaatar. That's the first good news. Mm. And the uh, Eco Construction Building Company supported our idea in many different ways. Mm. We have a 10 minute TV program where we introduce an alternative way of vegan mm. home styles by mm. our members. Mm. Thank you, Master, for your love and everything you have done. Oh, I'm sorry, this is, a, this is a, another one. The first question, you're welcome. Uh, good luck <laughs> for your business. Second question. I had a near-death experience in 2017 uh, because of a car accident, and I was unconscious for many days. During that period, Master took me to heaven, and we flew together to see many magical sceneries which I have not seen from this world. Master said to me that you have to go back and work for others. Since that time, I have been working for SMTV from home, and my husband and three children are also initiates supporting me. Mm. My daughter also does translation from Japan, mm. which is a wonderful opportunity blessed by you. Mm. My daughter-in-law also turned vegan and got initiation. Mm. Thank you, Master. Wonderful, wonderful. Welcome home. <laughs> Who are you? Stand up. Ah, oh, welcome back. Yeah? You think you can escape just like that? <laughs> we still need you here, okay? <laughs> it's good that you know the life after, so you have more faith, and your family also gets helped, okay? It's very good. We have even one near-death experience among us. We always saw it on TV, huh? on our Supreme Master TV, or reading the books of near-death experience or on other television. But we have one here. Come on, let everybody look at you. Come here, come here. <laughs> Turn around, everybody look at her. Ah. Yeah. Uh, turn around, they look at you, not me. I know you. I took you up, remember? <laughs> Ah, over there, over there. They look at you, not me. I, I know you already, come. <laughs> We're together up there, remember? <laughs> it's me you. who took you back here, remember also? Okay, it's beautiful up there, but we have work to do here. huh? I'm glad that you're willing to do that, and I'm glad that all your family understood. I mean, finally. <laughs> Welcome back. Look at the ghost, okay? <laughs> I was saying, the new ghost. <laughs> Come back. Okay, that's good. Uh, 
Help me. Apple. Whatever is easy for you. Small. Come here. Ah, uh, come here. How many in your family? Forgot. Six. Six. <laughs> uh, put your put your rope up. Oh, okay. So I'll just hold it like that. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's a special case. Don't be jealous. Careful, careful, careful. Ah, uh, good, good. Special case, okay? <laughs> Rare items <laughs> in our house. So, yeah, because you always think that the near-death experience maybe is novelty or maybe something that happens to somebody else until you yourself have that experience, or at least the one near you, okay? Then it's more convincing that there is really life after death, and we are not just this body, huh? We are borrowing this instrument of the so-called body so that we can work for others. So hurry up, help others any way you can. Be loving and kind to all, and help to elevate the world. Help to elevate the world, meaning the world we have more peace. We be vegan, and meaning we help billions, trillions, countless animals now and in the future, not to suffer, not to be harassed or tortured in any way. So that is the way we should do. You are born into this world with a special mission, whether or not you know it, like the sister. You know, she's just one of the cases that knows Yes, but even if you don't know it, you have the teachings of all the masters, the Buddhas, Jesus Christ, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Guru Nanak, yeah, Lord Krishna, etc., etc. They teach you all the same: be loving, be kind. Mm? And so we just do what is right, yeah, what is right. And what the Master taught us is always right. They don't teach us anything wrong. So we just do the right thing. Uh -huh. Always be selfless, okay? And begin from here already.